So one of the first uh, things that the young woman in the video uh, mentioned, she used an expression, uh, living proof. <laughs> Has anyone heard of this expression before? No. Living proof. Living legend. <laughs> there we go. It's, it's in the same area as a living legend. So, um, there is a brand, I'm sorry, I'm in this industry, and then there is a hair care brand called Living Proof. Really? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Ooh. Sephora, they sell in Sephora, and they're here. Okay. Yeah, so Living Proof, they advertise as we are living. <laughs> ah, there we go, okay. Yeah. So, Living Proof that are. <laughs> they are like scientific. This hair looks amazing yeah. from, yeah. So there's a brand, so yeah. So yes, yeah, so living proof is uh, something, a live example uh, that shows something yeah. is true or something can happen. So um, example, someone who exercises every day uh, and maybe they live to be 120 or 115, really old. You say, wow, he is living proof that exercise really helps you stay healthy. Uh, he's a real living example of um, that this can be the case, that this can be true. Um, yeah. So that would be the example. Any questions about living proof? For example, the, the woman in the story says she's living proof that the American dream is alive because uh, we'll get to the American dream later, but she succeeded in life and she kind of rose out of her situation to be a star and she's living proof of the American dream. Okay, moving on, we have a fire lit under someone. Um, in the, in the video, her play is ending, Mamma Mia is closing. So she said that lit a fire under her, um, because she, all these years she had a job and now she doesn't have a job. So it kind of motivated her to, to, she needs to get going, get moving and do something. Um. This is an idiom that just means, yeah, something that makes you start to want to, to do something, motivates you. Your boss comes to you and says, uh, you've been kind of not doing well, uh, maybe can you work harder? Maybe that lights a fire under you and you think, okay, yeah, I need to get started. I need to work harder. Um, I need to do better. So that's lighting a fire under someone. <clears throat> the next word we have is recur. Recur. Have you ever seen this word in English? A recur. Uh, to recur means to just happen again and again, uh, repeatedly. This makes me think of a recurring character in a TV show. Uh, if you watch a TV show, and there's a character who comes back many times. Not a main character, not every episode, but they just come back sometimes. We call that a recurring character. Um, or another example, if you have a dream over and over again, like the same dream while you're sleeping, you say, oh, I've, I'm having a recurring dream. It's coming back and again and again. So it's happening over and over. Say the earthquake we heard last night. So it means like that there has been like many earthquakes and then the aftershock of yeah, an earthquake. Yeah. Um, you don't really. I I don't think it would happen enough to say it recurred. Mm -hmm. um, so it's like it has to recur more. Yeah, <laughs> right. So we might say like it reoccurred. The the earthquake reoccurred, but recurred. Is a little different. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's complicated. Yeah. 
Uh, for number four, we have a phrase of highly televised. Um, something that's highly televised is always on your TV. Um, maybe a TV program. It's on many different channels. You, you can't escape it. It's always on TV. Like, oh, this show again? And um, you'd say that's something that's highly televised. Can you think of a program these days that's highly televised or you always see on TV? I would think of you know, channels like um, Channel or something. It's, mm -hmm. it's, it's always on TV. Mm -hmm. mm, so that could be highly televised. I'm always seeing that show about the, he was like an MMA fighter. Mm -hmm. He's Korean, but he lived in Japan. Uh, yeah, and yeah, yeah, yeah. his daughter, yeah. like, it's always on TV. It's just, it's highly televised. In Korea. It's on many different channels. Like, uh, highly televised. So you say that program is highly televised? Sure, yeah. You could say it's highly televised, or I don't know the name of it, but you would say that program is a highly televised program. And it could also be people, too, um, like an actor or someone who's in many different shows. He's highly televised. He's a highly televised personality because he's on many different shows, different channels. So highly refers to the frequency? Exactly, yeah. So you can say he's highly televised MC, right? Yeah, he's a highly, a uh, highly televised MC, right. Highly televised singer? If they're on TV, right. Yeah. Hwang okay. Jong-min is highly televised you know, actor, right, right. I guess. Not on television. Ah. He's actor. Uh, he is highly screen actor. <laughs> <laughs> ah, right. Highly filmed? I don't know. Highly filmed? Do you say Hajong or Hangjong? Hangjong. 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 Moving on, we have security blanket. Any idea what a security blanket is? When there is a fire, you have to put on security blanket. Ooh. Escape from it. Well, that's what it really means, yeah. It's like a shelter that you yeah. go high, high. Yeah, you're thinking of the literal yeah. uh, meaning of security blanket. Or the way to Usual stress, way to relax, way to comfort. Yeah, yeah. a comfort. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. It's uh, something adults use to help them relax and feel better. And there's a comedian uh, named Louis C.K. Mm. He talks about handphones, like smartphones mm. these days, are like our security blanket. Uh, <laughs> and... Yeah. and mm. Really, if you're on the subway or the bus, you you have to go for your phone, right? right. You feel re you start to feel anxiety if you aren't doing something. Like, oh no, where's my phone? You know. Mm -hmm. So I yeah I think smartphones are security blankets for most people now. But it could be anything. It could be like um, oh maybe uh maybe a food you have to eat, like a comfort food, or um, maybe, um, yeah, things like that. So talking to my best friend is one of my security blankets? I think, yeah, talking with a friend, getting comfort from your friend mm -hmm. could be a security blanket, mm -hmm. in a way. So like a com comfort zone? If you feel in the puts you in the comfort zone, yeah. Uh, so that could be anything. That could be talking to your friends. Making me very comfortable. Mm. Making you comfortable, exactly. So maybe it's good to 
break out of your security blanket sometimes. Mm -hmm. Don't rely on it too much. Then our last word is going to be the American dream. <laughs> and this has a lot of different meanings, and um, depending on who's saying it and mm -hmm. what time they're saying it. So when you hear someone say the American dream, what, what does that make you think? There's like more opportunity. Mm -hmm. Opportunities. Fair ground. Mm -hmm. Fairground, yeah. And this is like a kind of word that's not relevant as much these days. Mm -hmm. Because, mm -hmm. uh, you know, <laughs> the world has changed. And uh, there was a time when people thought America was like the place to start again. Mm -hmm. And uh, you could find a new life and forget your old life. Mm -hmm. And even the poor person can become rich. And... Uh, I think time has kind of shown that some of that is just illusion. Mm -hmm. It wasn't exactly true. Mm -hmm. And uh, now there's opportunities everywhere in the world. So kind of, I want to say it's an old-fashioned term, the American dream. Mm -hmm. Maybe you can say Korean dream. People Definitely. People are coming to Korea now for opportunity. Um, exactly.